take one. Hello, I'm Justin Spicer, and I'm here today um, doing something a little different. I'm going to be doing a comparison between um, the Digitech Synthwah and the Digitech Base Synthwah, okay? Um, the Base Synthwah does not belong to me. It belongs to a friend of mine, Nick Warren. Um, he and I were neighbors for years, etc., blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to be comparing both pedals with um, a guitar and a bass guitar. Now, um, just to keep things short, I'm not going to take you through a comparison between like all the ranges and the sensitivities and etc. of each pedal. Instead, I'm just going to be trying to show you, um, and so I'm going to keep like my sensitivity, control, and range knobs all the way up at noon, and then take you through the various um, types of envelope filtering. Okay, so, um, let's see, since they both do different things, I'm going to just show you what those different things are. So, the guitar I'm going to be using today is this 1990s Fender Prodigy guitar, and the bass I'm going to be using today is my 1983 Ibanez Musician bass. But now I'm going to show you what the guitar sounds like with both pedals first. So, um... Let's see, I need my headphones next. Um, yeah. So, I'm plugged into my Line 6 UX2, and I'm recording on GarageBand, and I'm going to start on the neck pickup of the guitar. Just make sure that's the right sound. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do first, actually, is show you the dry sound of the guitar. And someone's messaging me. Emily Bomber. Oh, well. Whoa! That was a while ago. Anyways. Um, okay. <laughs> Enough of that. I'm recording a garage band now. I'm going to show you what the dry sound of the guitar sounds like first. So this is the neck pickup. And this is through both synth laws. Oh my god. You must be able to hear a difference. <laughs> um, let me try pinpointing the difference. So I am going to isolate... Um, let's see. This is the guitar by itself again, and then next I'm going to show you what it sounds like through the regular synth wall. Okay, so this is through the regular synth wall. Same riff. My god, really? That's bizarre. Alright, so now I'm going to take you through um, just regular guitar one last time, and then regular guitar through the bass synth law, and then I'll gladly do the comparison of both pedals. But basically, what I'm trying to show you is that apparently the synth, the regular synth law is really um, not true bypass, or at least it doesn't sound like it today. So, regular guitar. And then through the bass and floor. That one I don't really hear too much of a difference. But with the regular synth law, I am surprised at the way it's sounding today.
That's very strange. That sounds more like it. <laughs> but why doesn't that sound? Okay. All right, you tell me. All right, so I'm finally going to take you through the first mode on the synthwaz, which um, on the regular synthwaz, it's envelope up. And then on the bass synthwaz, it is just envelope filter. So this is with all the knobs set at noon. I'm not going to change any of the knobs. I'm just going to play through the pedals. So regular synthwaz. <laughs> So as you can hear, that one is really meant for low frequencies to sound bouncy and bright. <laughs> Whereas the synthwa, regular synthwa is just like, I don't care. It's, you're going to sound bright anyway, so I might as well back off. So, bass synthwa kind of hurts so far. Um, take you through the next modes. So on the regular synthwa, it is... Um, envelope down and on the bass and plot it is sub envelope which means that there's an octave below the effect so this is the guitar <laughs> that hurts and this is the bass <laughs> Hopefully you can hear that sub octave going on there. So far, I like the bass synthwa for that, just because the sub octave is something that the regular synthwa doesn't have. So now I'm going to take you through the next mode, which on both pedals is synth one. I'm just going to play one chord on the guitar synthwa. So that sounds like that. The bass synthwa. One more time on the guitar. Bass. Okay, so you can see how the uh, bass synth was really meant for the lower frequencies of the bass strings. Next setting, which is synth 2 for both of them. This is the guitar. Now let me try playing at a more consistent um, attack. Same riff on the bass. That one. It seems as if with the bass and twa, it's more um, sensitive to the picking just because these are higher notes. Now I'm going to take you through the next mode which on uh, both pedals is called filter one. So this is the guitar. Um, next setting, which is filter two on the guitar.
Peace. sort of um, effect on here. If you want to hear more in-depth reviews and um, experimentations with these pedals, I have um, videos for each of these pedals, like individually. Like I have an individual bass synthwall review and I have an individual regular synthwall review on my channel, so check them out. And now we're on the last mode, which for this regular synthwah, it is Ottawa, and then for the bass synthwah, it is called Octasub. So, this is the regular synthwah. So, it's basically like an instant wah wah pedal. Alright, now for the bass synth wall. Have some fun and bring both um, pedals to the synth too. Okay, so that's the crazy world of both synth laws at the same time. Now, just when you thought this was going to get any more fun, <laughs> I'm going to break up the iPad as musician bass guitar now. And find the other end of my cable. Um, now I'm going to switch settings on the line 6 UX2. So, I'm going to go to my bass sound now. Hopefully this sounds okay. I'm going to go to the, just the neck pickup exclusively. Alright, now take you through the synth walls. So this is envelope up on the regular synth wall. And this is envelope filter on the bass synth wall. Now for envelope down on the on the regular synth wall. Sub envelope filter on the bass as well. Now for the synth one setting on both pedals, guitar first. Now for the bass. 
So as you can hear, it's a lot more bassy. Um, yeah, so next we've got the um, synth 2 settings. <laughs> Bass synth wall. Now for the next settings. Um, um the filter one on guitar synth wall first. and flop, same stuff. <laughs> Filter 2 in the guitar version. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the bass info now. I know that this is stuff that most of you probably wouldn't do with a bass synth wah, but this is just what's coming to my head lately. Um, at the moment, I should say. Alright, now I'm going to take you through the last setting. So this is the auto wah on the bass. That was amusing at best. Now for the uh, um, octa sub on the bass and wall. Alright, I think I'm actually going to wrap it up there. Um, sorry that this review was crap. Um, but I just, I'm just trying to keep it short because I know that a lot of people have very short attention spans and don't watch me because my videos are longer than 10 minutes, let alone, you know, like 20 or something. If I wanted to get really in depth with, um, the comparisons and the tweaks between the knobs, well, I'd still be on the guitar right now because, you know, doing a review like that would take at least an hour. Okay, so, um, basically one thing I could say, though, is that, um, I don't necessarily think that one should, um, use one various synth wall for, like, the other instrument. Like, if, I wouldn't use the bass synth wall primarily for the guitar, or, you know, vice versa, but I would like to have both just because... 
you know, with some proper tweakage, I could get some very interesting sounds out of both of them, you know, with both different instruments. Like, I love, um, you know, plugging the guitar into, like, oh, say, the octa sub on the bass synth wah, just because, you know, it's nice to have a little octave every once in a while. And, um, with the bass through a regular synth wah, if you're, like, on the synth 2 setting, that what kind of setting, it's, um, it helps because, with this, you have a little more, you know, more highs and more, more high mids. So, um, yeah, I urge you to experiment. I highly recommend it, just because it's fun. So anyway, um, I'm Justin Spicer. This has been a comparison between the, the Digitech Synthwas, the both the regular version and the bass version. I think they're both the same price. Price. <laughs> They're both they're both selling for I think the same amount of money that you know where whichever place you decide to buy it from, so I would have both, in all honesty. But right now I only have the guitar version. So anyways, I'm Justin Spicer. If you liked this, please subscribe to my channel, and if you don't like this, go away.